Did you know that in Hotplate Battle Royale, if you have unsmelted materials such as raw iron or uncooked food, you can place the materials in a furnace and mine it with a smelter's pickaxe to get the item cooked? Oh, you did? Well, what if you put the same materials in a chest and mine it with a smelter's pickaxe? Will you get the same cooked variants as well? In this new series, me and my friends are going to uncover the mysteries of Hotplate Battle Royale. So, what kind of myths and questions do you want answered? Leave a comment below with your myths, and if you see a myth that you want answered, make sure to like that comment. So, to answer the question, does mining a chest with the smelter's pickaxe give you smelted materials? No, it does not. Myth busted. Ismo is real asks, can you steal the Magma Club's fire resistance with the Reaper Scythe? Well, this is actually really simple to answer. Because the Magma Club's primary ability is permanent fire resistance while holding in either hand, all we need to do is hit an enemy holding a Magma Club with the Reaper Scythe's potion copy ability. So by loading into a duel with both of these weapons, we can test the interaction between them. Yo, Burbo. So I need your help to see if the Reaper Scythe copies the Magma Club's ability. Okay, just stand right there for me. And... No, it doesn't. Myth busted. Lackey asks, if you ask for people to subscribe in a Hotplate video, only 11% of viewers will hit that sub button? Well, let's find out. Erm, um, actually, it's 11.3%. Get it, right? If you want to see more Hotplate content just like this, let's try hitting 12% by the next video. Do your part by hitting that sub button in the next three seconds, and you'll find a Midas Sword in your next game of Hotplate. Myth confirmed. For now. Zanzan Zanark asks, does the Emerald Sword have a sharpness limit? That's a great question, let's find out. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to test this alone. Yo, Purple Ground, what's up, bro? Yo. Are you familiar with how the Emerald Sword works? I am not. For every 32 emeralds that you put in the sword, you upgrade a sharpness level. But if we put emerald blocks in, we're gonna get way more sharpness than if we just put emeralds in. Bro, what is this kit, man? Okay, shift right click and start putting emerald blocks in. That is sharpness level 47. 47? That is sharpness crazy, 47. dude. That is crazy. Ooh. Wait, I also want to see how much it does with full prod 4 netherite armor. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Get That's, destroyed, yeah, I don't know what. No, 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 no. So, the maximum sharpness on an emerald sword is sharpness 47. Wow. Israel DM asks Are hot plate players chill? I think I already know the answer to this, but let's find out. Okay, the goal is to find a Hopway player and ask if they're chill. And if they are, I'm gonna give them a loot package. Okay, I finally found someone. Hey man, I got a question for you. Okay, Tommy. Are you chill? I'm chill. Are you? I am. You seem pretty agitated, bro. You're all like... How chill would you say you are on a scale of 1 to 10? 9. That's chill enough for me, man. God damn, thank you. You're one in bug? No, it's yours. I don't know who you are, but I love you. Subscribe. Okay, okay. Uh, your channel is like your name. Wow, you really are okay. a 9 out of 10 chill. Hey, bro, look up here. I'm gonna uh, look down. Oh, no, no, look down here, bro. Look down here. I'd say that guy was pretty chill. Myth confirmed. Lord asks, what happens if you use tipped arrows with the Artemis bow? Yo, Derapchu. Have you ever used the Artemis bow before? I've used it once, yeah. Why? So, you know how when you normally shoot the Artemis bow, they all turn into spectral arrows? Well, we're gonna test to see if the Artemis bow replaces tipped arrows potion effects. Okay, pick an arrow at random and shoot me with it, and I'm gonna try to guess which one it was. Wait, will it change? Will it give you the effect or not? Threat, that's what we're testing. Oh, okay. Ow! What did I hit you with? Glowing 2. Hold on. I don't think it worked. Hold on, I don't think I've lost any arrows, actually. Here, hold on. Yeah, it didn't work. Let's try the Ender Bow now. You're gonna, if you shoot me one more time, I am dead. I'm gonna try one, I'm gonna okay. try. Ready? Oh, I'm not gonna fully charge. Oh, all right, ready? So it works with the Ender Bow. All right, try me. Ow! Gotta find okay. me, I'm invisible. Oh, wait, I have an arrow. All right, good fight, man. Thank you so much for the help. Okay, that was kind of a weird one, but I think Myth busted. Mellow Jacket asks, is there any possible way to craft a shield? Everyone who plays Hoplite knows that the shield craft is disabled in Battle Royale. Thank you, Mr. Speed Silver. But is there any way to get around this? Probably not, but that's what we're here to find out. I started off by trying to craft a shield normally. You know, maybe it would be that simple. When that didn't work, I looked at the recipe book and it wasn't there. So I tried to get him with another wood type. Even now, Birchwood has no use in society. Lastly, I tried to elicit help from the villagers, but this guy just pushed me into a corner and tried to kiss me, so I had to kill him. The only other way that I could think to get shields is to trade with an armorsmith villager. So I enlisted the help of Hardcore Minecraft's number one villager trader. Yo, Beerfunger. Okay, come look at this villager for me. It looks a little bit off. Okay, 
There's only one helmet, so we can confirm without a doubt there's no shield. He only has five slots. He's supposed to have six. No way to get a shield. Otherwise, he would have another thing for sale. Sorry, guys, but I don't think that you can craft a shield in Hoplite. Myth busted. Peach Slices asks, can YouTubers hack on the server without getting banned? Well, I'm not gonna find out. Just kidding, of course we can. All YouTubers use hacks. That's how we get our videos. Okay, so I'm realizing some people don't understand sarcasm. No, YouTubers are not gonna risk their YouTube rank just to hack on the server. So no, myth busted. All right, quick little plug. If you're looking for a brand new cool texture pack, check out Lacklight 16X in the pinned comment and description below. Blocky Banana asks, does using the Enderbow in duels allow you to escape the map? Back in Duel's closed beta, there was a glitch where if you shot the Ender Bow directly up into the air, you would be teleported to a random super flat world. That bug was patched, but you can still use the teleport ability to get outside of some of the maps. I couldn't find any ways to escape on the map's castle, ship, dojo, forest, fortress, and ruins, but if you can find a way, leave a comment on this video so I can show it off in the next video. And lastly, to expedite this process, I'm going to be using Ender Pearls in place of the Ender Bow, just so that I don't have to wait for the teleport abilities cooldown. On the map Village Square, you can kind of escape, but not really. On the map Colosseum, him. By angling your bow shots in very specific angles, you can fit between the barriers on the roof of the map and escape. But after escaping the first two layers of barriers, there's a third invisible barrier that you cannot escape through. On the map Temple, you can spam the teleport ability to squeeze through a little hole like the mouse from Tom and Jerry. In Mesa, going into the window of the large building will allow you to pearl through a small gap and pearl all the way to the surface. The surface, however, is entirely the invisible barrier and you're not going to be able to move freely. On Dwarven, there's a small area where you can pearl through blocks onto the surface of the map. There's no invisible barrier, so you can move around freely. On the map's Ancient Sky Island and Coral Sky Islands, there really isn't an outside to escape to. And last but most interestingly, similar to Volcano, Glacial is a sumo map that you can easily make onto the outer ring. However, unlike Volcano, this map does have a barrier on the outside to prevent you from escaping. But you can still ender pearl through the barrier blocks to make it to the outside and fall into the void, which is pretty counterintuitive. So out of the 15 maps currently in duels, you can completely escape from six of them. So I'm gonna say that this myth is confirmed. User asks, can you make regeneration suspicious stew? Well, in vanilla Minecraft, placing flowers into a mushroom stew's crafting grid will result in a suspicious stew with various potion effects. To craft a regeneration stew, you need one bowl, one red and one brown mushroom, and an oxide daisy. For this myth, I brought along my good friend Giuseppe. He's a horse now. Don't question how that happened. So by placing them all together in a grid like this, no, it doesn't work. But I wonder if you can still make it with other potion effects. Mm, still no, meaning that this myth is busted. Amelia Bees asks, can you use fireworks on the Sonic Crossbow? Hmm, look, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. There's no universe where I could even finish this video if duels didn't have the option to create kits with legendary weapons. Like, could you imagine spending countless hours in Battle Royale just trying to have a chance to get the Sonic Crossbow for a 20 second clip? Anyways, let's test it out. All right, this is most definitely the wrong map for this, but uh... Well, it fired, but I couldn't tell if the shots were fireworks or not. Slowing down the footage in replay mod shows... No, the wooden crossbow does not shoot firework rockets. Well, it does? But it doesn't shoot the fireworks. It still shoots arrows. Myth confirmed? Busted? Honestly, I'm not too sure what to call it, but I'm gonna say busted. Aklafake asks, can you grindstone every craft that has enchantments? Let's start this one off by crafting what we can easily get in any game of Battle Royale. That being the Smelter's Pick, Short Sword, Lumberjack Axe, and Short Bow. Not all that surprisingly, trying to place these items into grindstone results in nothing. You can place them there, but you can't really disenchant them. However, these are not the only custom items that come enchanted. I found that, at least in duels, you can unenchant any legendary weapon, except for the Emerald Sword. So no, not every enchanted craft can be used in the grindstone. And because the myth said every craft, it's only fitting that this one is busted. So, you made it to the end of the video, huh? Congrats, thank you! Just so you know, everything that I said in this video is actually factually correct, with absolutely no mistakes made whatsoever. Is what I would love to say, but there are so many different possibilities on Hoplite that I'm sure that one of you guys know something that I don't. So, if you want to try any of these myths out for yourself, by all means, go for it. I am only one person, one big dumb blue person. So, if anything that I said was wrong, please do kindly let me know in the comments. And if there's any other strange occurrences that you found on Hoplite, leave it for me in the comment to try in the next Hoplite myth busting video. But as of now, I would like to try to do one of these videos every single season. With more and more crafts being added and players joining every single month, I'm sure that there's plenty left 
left to explore. If you haven't yet seen my past few videos, I recommend you go check them out. I'm really proud of them and I really enjoyed making them and I'm sure that you'll enjoy watching them too. This is my first video of 2024, so let's keep the ball rolling with more bangers just like this one.